Hi, it's Deja from CrochetOverAfter.com and right now I'm going to show you how to decrease and double crochet when you're working in rows. So I'm going to show you how to decrease and double crochet when you're working in rows. Um, I'm going to work on both loops and I just want to show you a little swatch of something that you can do by decreasing. So I evenly decreased on both sides of my project by one stitch every single row. So right here is a decrease, right here is a decrease. Every row I just kept um, taking two stitches off of each end. And you can see that I formed a triangle. So you can use this stitch to make shawls, you can use it to uh, make blankets. You can make a bunch of triangles and sew them all together and create um, a very colorful blanket if you made lots of different color triangles. Um, there's lots of stuff that you can do with this decrease stitch. So I'm going to show you how to um, work this stitch in just a regular swatch and use your imagination to make what you'd like. So, let me find my hook. Here it is. I have one row of foundation double crochet that I've already done. And you can see it's very stretchy. If this was just a regular foundation chain with double crochet worked into it, it wouldn't be as stretchy. So that's a benefit of your foundation double crochet. Just giving it a shout out in case you want to try it out. I have a tutorial on how to make that. And I'm going to go ahead and start decreasing. So I'm going to chain three, like I always like to do for height beginning of my row and I count that as a stitch. So I'm going to always um, decrease one stitch in from my chain three because otherwise if I wanted to decrease right now to decrease after um, if you wanted to decrease in the first stitch of your row you'd have to skip the stitch that you would work into and that would leave a really big hole. So if I decrease by skipping a stitch you can see I have a really large hole. So I don't want to skip stitches to decrease. I want to double crochet into them to decrease them. So to decrease, you're going to begin by first inserting your hook into the next stitch that you come to. Yarn over, of course. And then place your hook into that next stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull up a loop, just like you would for any double crochet and you're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops. See I have two loops left on my hook, usually I would yarn over and pull through to finish my double crochet, but because I'm decreasing I stop at this step. Whenever you're decreasing you always stop at this last step where you have the two um, left on your hook, whether it's double, treble, whatever it is. But for double I'm going to now yarn over and insert my hook into my next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop and I want to take those first two loops off again by yarning over and pulling through. So now you can see that I've done the first step of my double crochet for both stitches. And I have three loops left on my hook. Now I'm going to decrease these two stitches into one stitch by yarning over and pulling through those last three loops. And you'll see that now I just have one stitch at the top. So I've decreased these two stitches into one stitch. Let me work a couple of regular double crochets across and we're going to decrease the last two stitches technically um, this, the two before your very last stitch. So you want to stop three stitches to the end. So you chain three is one and then you have one and two here. So I have one more double crochet to go. I like to work one stitch in from my edges so that I don't, um, it makes it a little bit more invisible. So when you're looking at this swatch it kind of just looks like double crochets throughout in here. It's not so much, it doesn't look so much like a decrease. So now I am at the last three stitches of my row. I want to decrease these next two. So we yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up the loop, do your first two loops off. Now you have two left, so we stop there. 
yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up your loop. Don't pull through all these loops, you should only have three when you're ready to decrease the stitch completely. You first have to take off these first two loops. You're doing the first step of your double crochet, or the first two loops off. So now they match. Now I can decrease. I pull through all three loops, and now I've decreased these two into one. Now I'm going to double crochet in this last stitch. And now I've decreased this row by two stitches. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to do it again so you can see the steps again. So I chain three. If you want your chain three not to look so skimpy where there's a hole that you can see, you can beef up your chain three. By beefing up you're just making it a little bit fatter. You make it fatter by pulling on your loop. So instead of making it the same size as your shaft, just pull it up a little after each one. And then, one, two, three, when I make my double crochet into this next stitch, it's going to push it down. I'm actually going to decrease here, so I'm going to stop there. But it's going to push it down and kind of bulk it out to make it fatter so there's not such a big hole between. So I've started to decrease my next stitch, or I'm sorry, I started to make my next stitch, and I stop after that first draw through so I can start my next stitch. Now I've got the four loops. I need to yarn over and pull through those first two only to create the first part of my second double crochet. Then I yarn over and pull through all three. You can see my little bulky chain three, a little bit fatter. And remember I want to go to three stitches before the end. So I have one, two, and three, so I only need to double crochet in my next two stitches. Now I can decrease these two stitches. So yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up. And then I'm going to finish those first two loops off first, and then insert my hook into the next stitch, finish off the first two loops. Now I have three left, and now I've decreased. So if you start with a really large number of stitches, you could easily make like a triangle shawl. If you don't want it so pointy like this, just skip your decreases every other row. So you would decrease this first row after your massive amount of stitches, and then this next row just do double crochets across. So instead of having this really pointy like isosceles triangle, you'll have a really wide triangle. So that's one way that you could make just a basic double crochet shawl. But that is how you're going to double crochet decrease in the row.